What's up guys? This is Bryce Van Neusen back for another episode of My Guitar Mods. This week we are going to check out this sweet ass Jackson Juggernaut Pro Series model. I got this Jackson Juggernaut model um, at the beginning of this year from the fine folks over at Jackson who've been super kind and supportive of me ever since I started working with them. It's been great and I told them that I really wanted something, a solid rhythm guitar to record the newest Silver Talon album with that uh, we just finished up. So I was looking at this Jackson Juggernaut model, Maple Neck basswood body which according to a lot of tone aficionados is kind of the best tonal combination um, of course they also recommend sort of having a maple top on there to balance everything out but you know that's okay I, I feel like if I use a brighter EMG pickup it'll kind of have the same effect so I'll let you be the judge of that so yeah right out of the box this thing comes with basically just a stop string through tailpiece here basswood body maple neck with a 20 inch radius on it which is different from the usual jackson 12 to 16 compound radius it's just a flat 20 radius and it's really comfortable also to note is i really like the fact that these inlays here inlays are glow in the dark so if you're on a dark stage you're definitely going to be able to see where you're at the cutaway is really nice really deep you can reach well over the 24th fret no problem and of course the truss rod adjustment wheel here at the end of the neck makes making those fine tuned truss adjustments really freaking easy basically what I did to change this is I first started with the hardware the Jackson hardware that came on it was really nice and honestly unless you wanted to change colors or you know kind of do something like make it look uh, gold or whatever honestly I think you're you're solid just right out of the box with that stuff but I changed out the bridge for basically what they did on the US model which is they have the hip shot string through bridge here. I really like using a bridge that has an intonation like this for recording because you can make adjustments just really easy. Just a screwdriver, a quick adjustment, boom! There's no reason not to have this baby fully intonated. Of course, brass knobs to match the gold, brass metal switch tip here, and I put some Spurzel gold locking tuners on this as well. These are my first Spurzels, but couldn't use the normal Goto ones that I use because there is not a spot for the set screw that they have so yeah had to go with something else the spurzels don't have that and that's pretty cool pretty cool and then of course Schaller strap locks in gold as well moving on to the electronics i have a bridge from the emg headset and the 66 in the neck so shout out to emg for hooking it up and giving me kind of an odd pickup combination that's not something that everybody can do and i'm really thankful that they're uh helping me out in that way of course the emg three-way switch which is solid absolutely no soldering this is an rpc control which is hooked up to the neck you kick that on gives you kind of a single coil ish sound definitely increases the highs but you don't have a drop in output like you would if you're kind of switching with a single coil so that is really cool all right so on some of these other videos i've gotten some angry comments from some of you guys that uh i'm not playing the guitar so let's play through get some tones so i'm going into this marshall origin 50 head here which is then being boosted by this khdk ghoul screamer overdrive uh, I got a noise gauge just to cut down on any excess gain coming from either of these two babies. Going into a two notes torpedo captor into my Universal Audio Apollo Twin interface straight into my computer. So let's hear how this sounds. Bridge pickup. <laughs>
so that's the bridge pickup. 66. Yeah. So then if I kick on this RPC knob. Off. On. Yeah. All right. Cool. And there you have it. Not much else. This is a simple shred beast. Super comfortable rhythm machine, lead machine. It sounds great. It sounds nice and snappy. And yeah, highly recommend you get one of these as a good starting point for doing some mods of your own. All right. I'll check in next week on another episode of My Guitar Mods. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, my pick. Ah, oh, fucker. God damn it. <laughs>